My favorite store. It's literally so close to our apartment. We can get all the snacks. He's trying to make us walk 23 minutes. Tulum is so dead compared to this. Like this is so, so much people. And it's Sunday and the taxi driver told us everything closes at like 3 a.m. I'm like, Puro buddy, I'm so burnt too. Look at that. Building. Oh yeah, remember there were so many buildings being built? It was pretty quick though. Last time we came here, there was a bunch this side was getting built. But now we're looking for some food because we're starving. These apartments kind of look sus, you know? They kind of look like swinger apartments. <laughs> okay, Ben was attracted to this place. Oh, you just wanted to come this way? Oh, it looked kind of bright, that's what, but I don't know. Kinda it was the bright colors that attracted me. <laughs> it looks kind of bright. We stopped to get ice cream and we're tired now. No more playa. But here's me eating my gluten-free, sugar-free, dairy-free ice cream. It tastes good, but I want Ben's dairy Oreo ice cream. Just kidding, it's just dairy-free. I'm just exaggerating, but we're going back home. We came to this deck, it's shared. It's like a shared balcony. Oh my God, this looks like the pool that we got last year. The deck. And here's the view. We are in Playa de Carmen. I'm so excited. I love Playa de Carmen. It's such a different vibe from Tulum. For those of you guys who do not know, because before I came and visited here, I've never heard of Playa de Carmen, which translates to Beach of Carmen. It's located in between Cancun and Tulum. Tulum is two hours away from Cancun, aka two hours away from the airport. So it's a little pricey to, to get transportation there and all the transportation there all the taxis they are expensive unlike Playa de Carmen which is it's more affordable and it's only 40 minutes away from Cancun and 40 minutes away from Tulum so it's literally right in the middle which I love because you can still go to cenotes there's so many things to do around here and I'm just gonna show you guys if you guys want to see my experience in Tulum just watch this video I just got back from Tulum but anyways enjoy this Playa de Carmen vlog I'm so so excited we got our own balcony in the Airbnb and it was only $40 a night. That's so cheap. I'm gonna insert some clips of the Airbnb so you guys know the vibe. And I'm looking at it, this dress is a little too big on me. But this is the vibe for the cenote. It's a really cute long dress. Down there, that little blue thing, that's the beach. We were gonna walk there last night, but it got too late and we just stopped for ice cream and we were like, we're tired now. Let's go back. So um, we were eating right next to our Airbnb. We got to the Airbnb just to take a quick bathroom break before we went and we went to sleep. So now the cenote we were gonna go to closed at four and it's already five. So we just decided to go to the beach. So we're gonna go to the beach. We still have tomorrow to go to Cenote. So let's just go watch the sunset on the beach. This is the fit. I changed my outfit because because the other one is giving more like cute Cenote vibes. So I changed to this. Now I'm gonna show you guys the nightlife. We're we're probably not gonna go inside a club because it's just me and my boyfriend. It's not really the vibe, but I'm gonna show you guys a little nightlife. There's so much people. That's what I love about Playa de Carmen. I feel like we just saw this place. And we still haven't gotten cash. We're looking for an ATM. 
But yeah, this is the strip. It's super, super long. 10 out of 10 recommend. It's called Fifth Ave. So if you come, just ask for Quinta Avenida in Spanish and English, Fifth Avenue. This is so cute. Let's see how much they cost. $9. Everything is so cute here. We finally found something we wanted. Honestly, we just came here because the stairs, we were like, that looks so pretty. The Greek God, really? That's why you wanted to come here? Ben loves Greek gods, but I'm excited. The place is so cute. the other thing that we wanted to do tomorrow but tomorrow's gonna be filled with fun things we're gonna wake up see the sunset see the sunrise because where the beach was you couldn't see the sunset since the sunset was like all the way on the other side i hope you guys enjoyed the little nightlife here i really love it this is my favorite part and i feel really safe staying here i can be with my camera out and no one really like looks at you or you don't feel uncomfortable but yeah we're heading home now we're now back in the airbnb i hope you guys enjoy the fly and got my nightlife it is monday though so it did look a little more dead than yesterday which was sunday but there's still activity going i know a lot of places where i traveled weekdays nothing nothing is going on except weekends and they were trying to offer me a free drink and free cover unlike tulum tulum we had to pay to get into the club we're gonna get ready to sleep now so I'm gonna be using this cleanser. Oops. It's by Philosophy. The lady at Ulta literally just sold it to me because she wanted me to get out ASAP because they were closing. She was like, what are you looking for? And I was like, cleanser. And she's like, great, this is the one I use. If you want to come back and return it, come back anytime. But I really, really loved it because that cleanser takes off everything, everything, everything. Like whenever I would wash my face with it and then I would use toner with the cotton pad, the only thing on the pad would be the rose toner that I use, which is so amazing to me because that means that cleanser is working. That means that cleanser is really taking off everything, everything from your face. so that YouTube can push my content more, okay? And I love you forever. Good morning, guys. It's now our third day here, and we're finally doing things. I know I said we were gonna go to the beach and see the sunrise, but I changed my plans. Why am I always changing my plans? Because it's okay if you change your plans. So I woke up and I was like, mm, I only got two hours of sleep, so let's just try this again tomorrow. Tomorrow's our last day here. It's worth it more because we had to check out at 11, and if we wake up at 6, we have kind of like a whole day before we check out. But anyways, we're ready for the cenote and then after we're going to a beach. Sin estrés, muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres moverlo sin pena, ven Sin estrés, muéstrame sus pasos, te cuento hasta diez y ven Yo sé que tú quieres, sé tú quieres Oh my god, we have to go to the 
not to hurry. It's 9 p.m. I finally got home. We got home. We showered. I feel clean. I had so much fun. Our last full day has really been so fun. We went snorkeling, as you guys saw. We went to the beach. But we did those two things. And all together for both of us, it was around $150. That cenote was so much fun. Oh my god. But right now, on our last night, we're just gonna go eat some tacos. We started talking to the taxi. That's why I love, love knowing the language of the country you're in I me mean, just knowing spanish but i mean it's really beneficial because then you can talk to the taxis and the taxi guys are are mostly the people that know what to tell you where to go especially if they're locals like our taxi driver he was telling us there's some bomb tacos here we haven't even had tacos here are you kidding me and he was like the street over here is all antojitos which means like snacks just all the bomb mexican food and we're literally on that street it just looks really really dark to us so we never went over there but yeah we're about to head over that way to try some bomb mexican tacos and also probably go to walmart to buy some souvenirs because we still don't have any but tomorrow we're for sure waking up at 6 a.m okay mark my words i'll see you guys at the taco place our last night out but we would always go that way where that guy went to go to fifth avenue but now we're going the opposite way to go to los tacos and we're gonna get all the chicherias we're gonna get all the bomb mexican food now that we have pesos before we were just paying everything with my card which is not a good idea tomales mm. juices right here jugo de mango i want that we're gonna get a fruit juice i saw a little girl walking with one of these i was like where did she get it <laughs> a lot of mexican homes our yard is gated up like this This is the entrance to Walmart. I'm so sweaty. But we walked the entire way here. It was like a 15 minute walk. But I love Playa de Carmen because it's actually very walkable. That's what I love about it. In Tulum, there's no sidewalks. Like here, the road is nice. You don't fall in the pothole like in Tulum. But we're finally here. I usually hate the AC. But this time, oh my God. This never felt so much better. But we're here to buy souvenirs because every other souvenir is very expensive shot glasses one dollar that's cheap everywhere they're selling shot glasses for like ten dollars but if you have the money to spend on souvenirs just go to a local vendor buy them for a good price but i want to buy a mug that makes me happy in winter because usually that's when i start getting depressed i feel like this is really cute and I just tell my mom, look, I brought this for you. But it was actually for me and her. So Ben is looking for a shirt for his sister. And I was like, like, you know, while you look for that shirt, I'm just going to drop off these drinks. Because I just realized it's going to be so heavy to carry in this. But the real reason was to look at these Barbie things. Look, the drinks are right there. The Barbie collection is right here. I want this. I want that. <laughs> Dumbbells, are you kidding me? Like imagine going to Pilates and you're like But we're basically going home now I did get some candy for my little sister It was a little successful Let's go see the sunrise guys Everywhere you travel you always have to see the sunset and the sunrise no matter what So let's go see the sunrise This is the outfit streets are so empty it's a sign you're in the one percent if you wake up at 5 a.m <laughs> but 
husband is so tired and he's like, I don't know how you have all this energy. To be honest, me either. It's just for the plot. Here it is. People are swimming. Clouds kind of block the sunrise, but it's okay. It was it still looks very beautiful It was still worth it 10 out of 10, but also there's lightning So it looks kind of cool and a little thunder. It's not too loud though But we're just gonna take some cute pictures for the memories of our last day So we're gonna go home. I'm gonna be ready by 8. I don't care. I'm gonna hurry up and then we're gonna go explore a little bit more. Get some coffee. Right now it's 9 o'clock and we have to be out of the Airbnb by 11. And we still want to go to Walmart to buy some things. Yesterday I didn't want to buy the mugs just in case we could get them for cheaper, but we couldn't So I made sure to hide the ones I wanted. Look Let's see Alright, here baby Oh yeah So long girl scale We have to go now We're running five minutes late, but we have a driver outside that we told her Oh, can you please wait for us because we don't have a taxi right now Oh my lashes Okay, guys, so we finally made it to the airport, but I'm done recording because my eyelashes, they've gone through it. I put them through so much, so much chlorine, so much sea salt, so they're giving up on me, so ignore my lashes. We got to the airport, finally on time this time. We are not missing our flight. If you didn't see my Tulum video, we missed our flight to Tulum, but now we're extra, extra early. So yeah, that's pretty much it. We're just gonna buy some bottles because they're cheaper here. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe and stay tuned for my other videos. Bye!